Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Movie Voyager Optimus Prime and I eventually grew to love this toy. Yeah, you heard right. Originally when I got this toy, I did not like it. In fact, actually, not specifically this toy in front of you. Uh, I got the original Voyager one. Uh, which came out in August of 2007 and retailed for approximately $20. Um, this version that we have in front of us is the RoboVision version. It was a Target exclusive, and this one retailed for about $25. And the the, the difference was that uh, this one came with like some kind of a RoboVision decor, decoder, and uh, it had it, it's also touted the limited edition super metal finish. Um, so I have both versions. I'm re I'm reviewing this one because this one was kind of the one that made me change my mind. Originally, when I got the Voyager one, uh, like I said, I was not a fan. Uh, I just did not like the the figure. Uh, the paint job on it is a little uh, darker. The blues and the reds are darker. The grays are not painted. But what really bothered me was in robot mode, the fact that the entire front of the truck here becomes a backpack, and it just bugged me to no end, and it was just a figure that I did not like. Um, a few years ago, a good buddy of mine was uh, uh, doing a clean out, and he was kind of uh, getting rid of some figures that either he had lost interest in, or that he'd had extras of, or whatever, and um, he, he had told me that he had this prime that he didn't want anymore and it was this guy right here so the decoder thing that came with him i don't have that i did not get that with him but i did get this figure and i don't know what it is uh i don't know if it was just maybe revisiting the figure or if it's a paint job because i really like the paint job on this guy or what it is but something about this figure made me change my mind and i really grew to appreciate and really like this figure um like i said i just really like the colors the colors on this guy are more vibrant the reds and the blues are more vibrant there's a lot more of this flame detail on the truck itself um all the gray parts everything that was gray on the other truck it was just like unpainted gray they've actually painted silver on this so i mean it just goes to show that sometimes all you need is a nice paint job and it'll go a long way in helping you like or dislike a figure so yeah and then at that point we had had uh several other primes that had big either either the nose or other parts of the truck as backpack so maybe i had gotten used to it at that point where the original when the original came out maybe i wasn't so i don't know maybe a couple of those factors all put in together but uh I, that all helped me kind of uh reappreciate this figure and and now i really do like it and i enjoy this figure a lot um uh, so a couple of reasons why I'm, I'm reviewing this one versus the original Voyager, like, like I just mentioned, number one, I just like this one better. And uh, also with the missiles, uh, the missiles on this guy, I've, no, I've, I've seen that this seems to be a uh, kind of a common thing across the board, at least with both of my figures, is that these missiles just have a hard time staying in. Uh, with this one, at least, it might be fiddly um, to get them in there. Uh, there's a good chance that one or both of these are going to fire off while I'm transforming them. But at least every once in a while, I get lucky enough to pop them in and they stay in place. Um, where the other one is just absolutely, there's absolutely just no grab left to it whatsoever with my original Voyager. You try to put those missiles in, they're not staying in. So this is just possibly going to be easier anyway so getting into the actual truck itself here in truck mode optimus is approximately seven and a half inches long he's about three inches tall at the top of the cab three and a half if you want to go to the top of the smokestacks here and like i said uh the detail on this guy is just really really nice i absolutely just love the detail the the, the vibrant red the vibrant blue all the flame details that this has gone into the uh, truck itself very little to no robot parts showing in truck mode which i really like a lot you can see this missile part here this missile has already shot fired off there we go see and at least it stays in place when i put it in there the other one absolutely won't have it so um all the silvers are nice on this again it's just really really nice paint job for this guy rolls very nicely um it does have uh an attack mode actually it, it does have a really cool little feature here before i get into the attack mode it's got a really cool little feature here as you can see inside the uh, cab itself you can see a little driver right there it's just a little man with a with a hat 
uh, looks like a cowboy hat. Um, I have heard on uh, so a lot of people mention that that's supposed to be Peter Cullen. I don't know if that's true or not, but still very cool uh, little driver right there. Now, with the whole robots in disguise and uh, the way they used to like make a mirage or a hologram image of a driver inside themselves or whatever uh if you grab this door and you open it up now you see the driver when you open the door now you don't there's a there's a little uh spring gimmick there so when you close the door you can see that the driver is going to come right back down again and there he is and then when you open the door he just disappears it's very cool if you do it fast enough when you shut that door, man, it seems like he's magically there again. So I really enjoy that a lot. And then, like I was saying, there is an attack mode for this guy. So if you bring down the smokestacks just a little bit, that's going to open this up. Um, you can uh, uh, tilt this guy out just a little bit, just to make some clearance. And then this entire can and smokestack piece, you're going to bring this up and over. And then you're going to bring the, uh, the smokestack to the front and turn it so that it's pointing forward. And you can do that on both sides. Just kind of get that out of the way. And uh, bring the smokestacks over, bring straighten that out, and now you've got this uh, kind of like this attack mode. And I guess you're supposed to be like firing off of the uh, smokestacks themselves. But there are little buttons right here. These are launchers, and if you press on those, it's gonna fire off these missiles and blow off somebody's face. So, yeah, very cool, uh, very nice, like uh, creative, I guess, uh, attack mode. And uh, we'll put these in and see if. Uh, they still, hopefully they stay in place. Now, these are removable. These launchers themselves, these are just pegged in here. So you can just pop these guys off. And uh, you can take these off for transformation or you can leave them on. Uh, I am going to leave them on and hope that they stay in place during the transformation. Let's see how well that goes. Uh, typically, I don't have an issue with it. So we'll see. Um, getting into transformation, we are going to start down here at the bottom. Take the... Uh, the, the mud flaps here and just kind of accordion these just gonna you're gonna see that there are two hinges here little tab right there on the side just untab it and accordion that in the entire top part of the cab here this is gonna split up and then it's gonna rotate down and over to the front like that you can go ahead and split these up and turn this around uh, if you reach in here these are gonna be the feet right in here so you can just pull these out and get them out of the way and then you're gonna take the top of the cab and you're gonna rotate it to the front where the feet were. And you're gonna notice when you do that, if you look over here on this panel, when you do that, there's a little bit of that Mecha Live um, gimmick right there. So when you pop that open, these kind of spring out just a little bit. That one was stuck, but this one actually did it. It's a, that's a shame, the one that was facing the camera didn't do it, let's try that again. Yeah, that one is sticking. That one is sticking. What's supposed to happen here is that one is supposed to spring up like that. Uh, this guy had done that. There go the missiles. Let me try it on this side. So I just want you to see that. So when you pop this open, that thing just springs out like that. And then uh, I'm going to leave that missile off to the side. And you notice that on the top of the, where we move the top of the cab over, is going to expose these two ports that are going to plug into these two pegs right here on the bottom of his kneecaps. So just peg those guys in right there. And then straighten out the feet, reach under here and pull out the heels and that is pretty much going to be our legs done right there just like that now we are going to reach down here you can see on the bottom of the truck here you can see his hands so go ahead and just pull up on these guys separate them right here we'll move the camera up a little bit more uh separate these guys right there and then just pop these guys out of the way just like this and that is going to make enough clearance to where the entire you're going to notice on the back of the cab here is going to be the torso of the robot. So that's going to allow you to rotate this guy forward and it's going to click into place. Now you can bring uh, this blue panel here is going to rotate back and you can bring the shoulder panel down. Straighten out the arm, bring down his uh, shoulder panel there. Straighten out the arm and then this little panel right here that was pegged in truck mode is going to rotate to the side to cover up that hollow bit right there. Same thing on the other side, so rotate the blue panel, bring down the shoulder, bring down the shoulder panel, straighten out the arm, and then rotate this panel off to the side. And that can unpeg, it's just there on friction, as you can see. So that can unpeg, if it unpegs, it's just very simple, just pop it right in, back in, no big deal, just like that. So that's gonna be our arms, and uh, we're almost done. Reach under here, on, right under the hood, is gonna be the head of the robot, so this guy's gonna come right out, click into place. And then the cab of the truck is going to unpeg from, or the rather the hood of the truck is going to unpeg from the cab right there. You're going you're gonna to see that peg right there. And then you're going to pull out on this. It's going to accordion out. You're going to 
pull that uh, that gray tab is going to rotate all the way down and you're going to rotate the cap up and rest the back of his bumper on the uh, basically on his upper back there. And that's pretty much prime all the way then. And then you can take these panels. Um, typically, at this point, you would remove these and put them in his hands. But if you want to leave them stowed away, what I like to do is just kind of rotate them back down again. Um, yeah, and that's a little bit messy. I know that that's a little bit messy, but when you turn them around, um, it really kind of cleans up the silhouette. Let me bring out the camera just one more time. And there is Optimus Prime in robot mode, and I think he looks pretty good. Like I said, originally, I didn't think so because of this big cap thing. And uh, what I'll do is, let me go ahead and, I wanted to show you that so you can see how you can stow the guns, but at this point, we can go ahead and remove these. These are meant to be removed. So you can pop these guys out. And uh, this is really just kind of the intended look of the robot right here. And uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. Um, this is the thing that bugged me the most when I first got him, was just this big giant cab and the hood on the back there and i just found it lazy and i absolutely hated it but like i said once i got this figure with the nicer colors and everything i just uh maybe that plus i had already seen at that point we'd seen several other primes that had had backpacks like this um and you know what it just i kind of just didn't mind it anymore and i really came to appreciate this figure a lot here in robot mode optimus is approximately seven and a half inches tall and as far as detail goes, again, really nice, vibrant paint job. The blues and the reds really pop out. Um, does a very nice job of looking like Prime in the movie did, I've, you know, with the exception of that. But uh, we're, we're, we're going to leave that be uh, going forward. The, uh, the silvers, I really love the silvers on this figure. The original figure, all of these, like the arms and the thighs and all of this stuff was just unpainted gray. And the silver paint on this just really does a good job of just bringing this figure to life um the head you can see the head mold right there and you know it's a good sculpt it's a good representation of prime from the movie so it's a nice sculpt and as far as articulation goes we've got a rotation at the head uh the shoulders uh go rotate at the uh base of the shoulder and then the bottom part of the shoulder here kind of like almost at the bicep you can turn those guys uh up and down like that you do have a rotation at the bicep and you've got a hinge at the elbow and you have a little bit of actually you've got a ball joint at the wrist so you can actually bring that guy in and out just a little bit and you can rotate it too so nice set of articulation there for the arms nothing at the waist uh the hips are on universal joints so you can go forward and backwards and you can go in and out on those you have a rotation right there at the thigh you've got a bend at the knee and you have a little bit of tilt at the both the foot and the uh the ankle right there so not bad not bad at all and then again uh one more time you can bring these guys in and the way these works this is actually pretty cool the way this works there is a port on the bottom of the gun that is the the port same port that you were using to connect them to the back here of the truck that right there so you're going to use that and you're going to use these pegs on the top of his wrists now he does have a little handle so the handle is going to go through his hand and uh it kind of makes it look like he is holding it but the figure is going to be pegged to the arm itself so it's actually going to make a really nice handle for that gun and then again you can reach up here and press on that blue button and fire off the missiles so you can blow somebody face off so there you go so you can do that uh you can give them both we'll try and see if this guy's willing to hold this missile looks like he is at least for the time being so there you go you can have him wielding both of these if you so choose there you go so very nice figure actually um yeah not not the best uh movie prime obviously uh this is voyager and this is from the first movie and they were still trying out a lot of new things and they were learning a lot of new things so you know obviously it's not going to be the best prime like i said originally when i first got this figure the voyager one um not this one um i just did not like this fi the, the figure i was very disappointed in it but then when i got this one with the nicer paint job and missiles that didn't shoot out every uh one and a half seconds um i was i was able to uh learn to appreciate this figure a lot more and i really do enjoy it now i've really come to appreciate it and lo love it and enjoy it and i'm happy to have not one but two of these guys now uh, on my on my optimus prime shelf so i think with that we're pretty much covered transformers movie voyager optimus prime and the robovision version which we have in front of us what did you think of this figure and what would you like to see me review next let me know by leaving me a comment give me some thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time on that's just prime